Hi guys, happy Memorial Day. So the first part of April, when we were on our adventure road trip from Yosemite to the San Francisco Bay Area, we made a quick stop in Colma, California at Hills of Eternity Memorial Park where we visited the grave site of American Frontier Law Officer Wyatt Earp. We are currently at Hills of Eternity Cemetery in Colva, is that right? Colma. Col Colma, California? I don't know, it's just outside of San Francisco. We are on a mission to find the grave of Wyatt Earp. Wyatt's brother Virgil Earp actually uh, is buried in a cemetery not too far from where we live in Portland, Oregon. So when we get back home, I will find some time to uh, go visit his grave as well. I think that'd be really cool, really neat. Do the whole tombstone theme. Today we are at Riverview Cemetery in Portland, Oregon to visit the gravesite of Wyatt's brother, Virgil Earp. Virgil Earp was both Deputy U.S. Marshal and Tombstone, Arizona City Marshal when he led his brothers Morgan and Wyatt and Doc Holliday in a confrontation with outlaw cowboys at the gunfight at the OK Corral on October 26, 1881. They killed brothers Tom and Frank McLaury and Billy Clanton. All three Earp brothers had been the target of repeated death threats made by the cowboys who were upset by the Earp's interference in their illegal activities. All four lawmen were charged with murder by Ike Clanton, who had run from the gunfight. During a month-long preliminary hearing, Judge Wells Spicer exonerated the men concluding they had been performing their duty. But two months later, on December 28th, friends of the slain outlaws retaliated, ambushing Virgil. They shot him in the back, hitting him with three gunshot rounds, shattering his left arm and leaving him permanently maimed. The cowboys suspected were let off for lack of evidence. His brother, Morgan Earp, was assassinated in March 1882. Charges against those suspected were dismissed on a technicality. Wyatt Earp, appointed as Deputy U.S. Sheriff to replace Virgil, concluded he could not rely on civil justice and de decided to take matters into his own hands. Wyatt assembled a federal posse that included their brother, Warren Earp, and set out on a vendetta to kill those they felt were responsible. Virgil left Tombstone to recuperate from his wounds in Colton, California, where his parents lived. Virgil married before he left to serve in the Union Army during the American Civil War. When he returned, his wife and child had left. He had a variety of other jobs throughout his life, though he primarily worked in law enforcement. His younger brother, Wyatt, who spent most of his life as a gambler, became better known as a lawman because of writer Stuart N. Lake's fictionalized 1931 biography, Wyatt Earp, Frontier Marshal, and later portrayals of him in movies and fiction as Old West toughest and deadliest gunmen of his day. In 1898, Virgil learned that his first wife, Ellen Risdom, and their daughter were living in Oregon and re-established contact with them. After suffering from pneumonia for six months, Virgil died on October 19, 1905. And here he is.
that's going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. I'll see you guys again really soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.